dun, dun, dun. What's up, folks? It's your boy, MMG Smurf here, and today we're talking about none other than the Gods Unchained Corset Refresh. Mm. All right, and so I got the image behind me. Actually, let me move myself out of the way just so you can get a look at this beautiful image. All right, that's enough. That's enough. Um, yeah, so what's the Corset Refresh all about? This is an update to the Gods Unchained meta, um, as well as some of the cards. So all the core cards, which are cards that are not NFTs in Gods Unchained, are actually getting a revamp. Well, not all. I guess they said like at least 180 coin or cards, and we're going to go through um, the blog posts and get a little bit more detailed on that. There's also at least, I believe they said 70 or so, 70 to 90 cards. Again, we're going to get the details on that, that have also been added. So there's a bunch of new cards coming that have never been played before, and then we're getting 180 cards updated to to be more competitive um, for players that are totally free to play. Maybe you haven't earned any gods tokens yet. You haven't um, earned any flux and stuff like that and been able to, um, to to craft your cards into NFTs. And so you're totally starting with, you know, zero money investing gods and chain. Well, this is your way to become that much more competitive. Uh, so without any further ado, I am going to hop over to this screen. And we're going to check out this blog post. So of course, that refresh is almost here. It actually starts today. Uh, March 7th at 5 p.m. Uh, Pacific, which is 8 p.m. Eastern. Um, 70 new cards being added into the core set. A portion of the 180 existing core cards being rebalanced. And let's see, what else we got here? Uh, refreshing falls into four categories, consistency, clarity, competitiveness, and fun. Uh, so that's what they're trying to focus on. And, uh, you know, I, I would agree these are great um, aspects to aim at um, and to, to take focus on. <laughs> They've gone through and cleaned up a bunch of the more needlessly wordy cards uh, and, and complex. So cards that just have like a whole bunch of text on them have been cleaned up. Um, and I really like that about this game uh, because like when I re recently was playing the Yu-Gi-Oh card game, Master Duel, I was uh, noticing and mentioning to a friend that like, you know, a lot of these cards are extremely wordy. And he's like, well, you just got to get you got to know the cards and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, but you don't want to be playing a game and like not have that card totally memorized in your head. And then when you try to read it, it takes like you know, 20 seconds or, you know, like you got to skim through the reading and maybe you don't get, get all the information. That's not cool. Um, so next section though. Uh, but yeah, I really like that they, that they did, you know, are focusing on that and you can really see it in a lot of their cards where a lot of these cards are very concise, uh, very short descriptions, but they're, they're accurate descriptions that let you know how to utilize the card. Uh, we want everyone to, to have access to a winning strategy. So that's a lot of the to do here. Um, so uh, earlier I said, making this com competitive is a, as a mainstay. And uh, they also want to make sure the, to bring the excitement when you're opening core packs so that you have, like, again, with the updating of a lot of these cards and making them more competitive for existing cards and then the addition of these new cards, you know, uh, they want to bring that excitement to core pack opening where you open the, the pack of core cards and you're like, oh, this card is going to make a difference in my deck. You know, it's not just a matter of like, OK, that's another one that I could, maybe that's a front line that I could use or this or that. You know, it's really something that could really change your deck. Um Focus on changes in improving and buffing underutilized car, core cards. So, yeah, again, uh, to the point of, you know, a lot, some core cards are a little bit more underutilized. Uh, I know they give you some stronger cards early on uh, in the core core cards that might look like they're good because they have, like, you know, Twin Strike or something like that, um, and it's a strong card, but maybe it's, like, seven or eight mana, and that's not really what you want in Gods Unchained. To, you don't want a whole bunch of those cards, so good that they're focusing on that. Uh, next thing is this will improve an opportunity for new and existing players to be along uh, the first to fourth. So, yeah, um, this section is just talking about how, you know, since there's new cards being added and there's some improvements uh, really with these new cards, then, uh, you know, new players, players that are active currently in the community have this brand new opportunity to be some of the first to uh, to mint these these cards onto the Immutable X blockchain. And that means that which is a layer two uh, solution for Ethereum. And that means uh, that, you know, you know, they might make something off of these cards. And also there's there's the new play. There's the play to earn aspect going on over a uh, weekend ranked. So you can get those gods tokens. You can get flux right now. You can get these cards. You can get new cards. There's a lot happening in the gods and chain ecosystem right now. A lot to be looking forward to. And this is all still beta. There are definitely some spicy new cards in the mix. Uh, so, you know, just like that. I just highlighted that because that's kind of just what it is. And then commitment to ensure that free to play FTP is free to play players can compete at top levels of play and so you'll see this all the time on gu decks where people are trying to you know come up with uh decks that are more competitive at a at a myth mythic level or or you know gold or diamond level or whatever i actually just broke in a diamond last night woot woot. um but lately 
I've been seeing a lot less of those that are at the mythic level, usually, in, and honestly, even before when I would see uh, pl top players talking about them in their YouTube videos or something like that, the, the cards would cost a little something. They'd be like, oh, this is pretty much a core deck, except for these four or five cards. And I'm like, okay, five cards, then times five, that's like $30 you're paying, man, honestly, if you want to have that exact deck. Um, and so they're trying to do uh, something to help resolve that issue. And it's not a big issue because you can find other cards that are similar to those cards that somebody might pay for. And it's, you know, it's fun to do that, actually. Uh, but this is, you know, they're trying to work that out for, for people because they are listening. And this is one of the fun things about blockchain gaming is that you're, you're working with, you know, companies uh, and games that are actually willing to work with their community. And they, you know, the community is only a bit so big. So you can they hear that feedback and they work on that. And, you know, it's only been about five or six months since their last big update. So again, this is all coming live tonight, March 7th at 5 p.m. Uh, Pacific, aka 8 p.m. Eastern. So if you're watching this later, then it's already going through. You know, check out those core cards, and maybe you haven't noticed, but, uh, you know, big update. Uh, they also said uh, in this bottom portion here that they will be doing some live streams now, and you actually have an opportunity that they have challenged the community to um, be the first person to acquire a complete playable set of Meteorite core set refresh cards. So of these, these new cars that they're doing, if you can do a complete full set of those at meteorite level, which means they're NFTs, um, you will be given the opportunity to choose a character for me to cosplay as in the uh, future stream. And so the person listed their name at the very top. This is Chris Clay, uh, the gods and uh, director of Gods and Chain, game director. And they will be cosplaying as your choice if you can get all NFT set of these uh, core set refresh cards. And uh, no rats, though. So... There you have it. That's the update for Gods Unchained today. Um, hopefully, I didn't stumble over it too much. Hopefully, could actually digest that information. I tried a new thing with highlighting it today, just because I want to keep making these uh, and get better at it, and you know, provide something for the community and for my community for Money Match Gaming. Uh, since we're going to be moving into Gods Unchained tournaments soon, uh, so be on the lookout for that if you're watching this. And uh, without anything else, see you guys in the next one.